timing. There's no one there for Makuba to block it down. Milton going to take a shot wide open and just strutting in is Keaton. Joe Milton does it again. So the million-dollar question for us ball fans is, what kind of Joe Milton are we going to get? Are we going to get the 2020, 2021 Joe Milton, the one where he, you know, he started for Michigan for several games and he had four interceptions and four TDs and he overthrew everybody? And then at Tennessee in 2021, um, he didn't have any interceptions, but he overthrew everybody by 20 yards. Um, and mop-up duty last year, uh, when Hendon was the starting quarterback, he was very good, but that was mop-up duty. That's a big difference than being a starter. Now, to his credit against Vanderbilt and um, and Clemson, he was he was good. He uh, he wasn't great. <clears throat> he was no he was no Hendon Hooker, or Bryce Young, but he's good. He was good enough uh, against Clemson. He threw for 251 yards and three TDs. Um, if if we get that out of Joe, then I think we're going to be just fine this year. Um, Everyone will tell you that Joe Milton has more athletic ability and a higher ceiling than any QB in, in this college season. Um, you know, here's Matt Berry and Paul Feinbaum talking about Joe Milton's ability. When you look at the landscape of this conference, and I'll even make this comment big picture in the country, I believe that Joe Milton is the most dangerous unknown in the country. Here's why. If you look at him, is an athlete and you look at his arm as a quarterback, it's first overall oh. pick, first round pick type talent. Yeah. I mean, and, he can throw the ball hundred yards, but he overthrows guys a lot. If well, yeah. him, if him being patient and waiting his turn behind head and hooker, if he legitimately harnessed the time, the film and the improvement, he could easily be the Heisman trophy winner and he could easily yeah. be a top 10 pick in the NFL. And you know, as you just heard them talk, they talk about his arm strength and his ability, but also Joe Milton can run. Um, and here is a clip of uh, uh, Joe Milton running for 50 plus yards against Pitt back in 2021. And I think people are getting caught up comparing him to Hendon Hooker. Um, I, I don't know if he's going to have a Hendon Hooker top year, and it's it, it's okay if he does not have the same year that Hendon has. Uh, before Hendon got hurt, uh, he had 3,100 passing yards, and and I think you know he got hurt in the third quarter of that South Carolina game, uh, and then he still had two more games after that to play. I think at the end of the day, he would have been close to 4,000 passing yards. Uh, if he would not have got hurt. Um, you know, Hendon had 27 TDs and two interceptions. You know, that's just hard to duplicate. Um, and I'm not expecting Joe to do that. So um, I do think Joe's going to be very good. And if he's healthy, I do see Joe throwing for three, you know, for 3,000 yards. I really do. Uh, if he's healthy. Uh, and I think, you know, one thing that's really going to help him is the fact that We've got back um, three of the five starting offensive linemen, and all three of our running backs are back. Uh, you know, um, so that's going to be huge. That's going to take a lot of stress uh, off Joe's shoulders. Uh, the fact that he can lean on that run game, and uh, and I do think our defense is going to be a little bit better too, which will help him because, uh, and you know. For Hendon, our defense didn't help him out at all hardly. So, it's, you know, Hendon had to almost score every single time he got the ball. And I don't think it's going to be um, that way this year with Joe. So, anyway, <clears throat> you know, my prediction for Joe is this. I think if he keeps his interceptions down, he stays healthy, I expect him to be, you know, an all-SEC QB. Now, he may not be first team, but I do think he'll be like a second team all-SEC all SEC quarterback. So uh, I think Joe will be, he'll be just fine this year, and I, I do think that he's going to lead us to a very good season. Thank you.